Don't you just love that sweet Nodachi crunch? Hello, my fellow hunters, and welcome one and all to my favorite weapon, and what I consider to be the best build, or in this case, builds, as I will be presenting you with both a human path build and a variation of it, and a kimono path build, as the Nodachi can very much play both sides of things, and it really depends on which way you want to go, but in all cases, they are the peak of its power, and oh, it feels good to play. I mean, it feels as good as it feels bad to this poor Ember Plume, my word. So, before we begin then with the armor, the skills, and all of that good stuff, the playstyle of the Nodachi doesn't need to change based on this build. This isn't a playstyle defining build, it's simply a build that supports, promotes, and makes as best as it can be what you're normally supposed to be doing on the Nodachi. And that's, of course, getting as many triple hit charge attack, triple hit charge attack combos off as possible, as fast as possible, against whatever given kimono you're fighting. Obviously, we have tools in our arsenal to help that, and stamina management is by far and away one of the biggest, if not the biggest, factors of this weapon. What you spend and where you spend it in that regard changes everything. Of course, we can iframe roll during charging, we can triangle reposition slash, but that's got much fewer iframes, and honestly, I really don't rate it, and we have the help of Karakuri too. What I will say then is a quick spotlight on the spring, because the spring is, in my mind, the champion of the Nodachi. And that's simply because, one, it gives you a huge iframe and positional dodge that lets you keep up your charge during while also restoring some stamina, which is just... Mm. But past that, you can also, from the spring, do the aerial double hit combo, which gives you a load more distance, a load more reach, weaves in some extra damage, and charges up the big hit for when you land. So at any point when you have the opportunity to either spring in or spring through an attack, if there's a few more moments afterwards, going into that is really good. Now, it should be said that while I think that the box, the uh, spring, uh, the harpoon, and the glider is my preferred way of playing, the glider is simply comfort. You can replace it with a celestial anchor, and then it actually can work quite well with that too, though it's a little bit more, um, perhaps frantic than you might be expecting. I find the spring much more controllable, but you can certainly have the same kind of concept with the celestial anchor flying around the kimono, doing the aerial combo, and only landing for the big attack, though I often find this to be a little bit less consistent in doing the correct big attack instead of the super slice, as you have to pause a moment once landing, or you'll get the wrong one. In any case, we also very much care about chain traps, we care about the harpoon, anything that will hold the kimono down to let us get our monstrously long 5 second big combo off. So in general, this is just a very thread hungry weapon. That said then, what are we actually going for? Well, on the human side of things then, we want the Golden Tempest Helmet, the Lava Back Chest, the uh, Amaterasu Gloves, the uh, Death Stalker Waist, and finally, uh, the Golden Tempest Legs. This is the pure damage way of doing things, and it works very, very nicely. Though, if you care much more about stamina and having that extra comfort, well, then we swap the gloves to uh, the sport tail gloves for those pure stamina goodness skills, and then the legs become Golden Tempest for getting Celestial Breath back, and then also giving us a little bit of extra core boost, so it really depends what's more valuable to you. A little bit more bang for your buck on Fusion Karakuri and 3% Slash Bolster damage, or a bit more stamina to play around with. Talisman-wise, you want to just, uh, well, promote the good skills that you already have. In my case, I have a little bit more Verve going on, as Verve is the MVP skill for the human path side of things, as a percent damage and defense increase on full health is very potent, and it's very easy to be on full health, especially against the deeply volatile, the endgame stuff. You just don't want to be playing on not full health, because you'll just get one shot. So, other than that, just 
put on the utility or the damage that you prefer from your talismans. I will highlight specifically this 8% less stamina used in your charge up that you can specifically get because it's a guaranteed talisman that you can find on the fort map and you get it right here as you are seeing so I definitely recommend going to grab it. Weapon wise in both uh, human and kimono path golden tempest full raw is the way to go. The bit of affinity is nice, big damage and 15% more damage on your big charge hit is of course ridiculous whether you're activating the kimono secondary skill or not and your secondaries then is two more six percents of said big damage hit does more damage an extra five savage which on the dead actually is really quite good and it actually likes just a lot of pure damage and there isn't really any super good other skills to grab you might be thinking what about drawing dice to speed up the charge or less stamina used while charging the fact of the matter is both of them just have such little impact that it's not worth the damage loss to take them, especially as most of the time you will be attacking to build your meter and those don't really help too much with that process. Then the final slot is a bit of verve if you're on the human path and this results in a mighty just shy 4k thwallop to our training bear and well you can imagine how that treats kimono. And ultimately then this is how the human set boils down skill wise. The highlights of course is the plus 27% damage to the big hit, the bit of extra savage. The Karakuri Remedy is actually really good because any spring aerial swirly double hit attack will heal you, which is nice. And of course, the drawn weapon damage from the Golden Tempest helmet, that extra 5%, is a nice little bonus here of the Human Path 2. We've got a big chunk of Verve for a huge boost too, and then both Celestial Breath and the Fusion skill are really helpful too with our thread use management and min-maxing and really lets you spam Karakuri and really min-max the weapon's playstyle in that regard. It all comes together rather nicely. That said though, the Donachi can very much go to the kimono side of the aisle too using the following set. Uh, the Ember Plume helmet, chest and gloves all of course set to kimono. Then we want these little cheeky stamina saving legs which is very very nice too and finally Boots wise, you either want to go King Tusk for just a little bit of damage and health, there's not really many better options, unless you are doing a deeply volatile or single life thread hunt, in which case the Ember Plume Boots for more stamina management is also a very good call. And as we're using the Ember Plume Helmet, you do want to make sure you go to your bed and set it to be daytime when you go hunting to activate the bonus. Or if you prefer hunting at nighttime, you can always use the Fume Beak Helmet for the same helmet but the nighttime version. Talisman wise, same deal the skills that help support the main damage contributors on this set weapon wise when it comes to the kimono path uh, well it's the exact same as the human path except we swap the 10% verve for 15% desperation which does result in a longer weavier pattern to get here as you have to go all the way over to the far right but still not too bad compared to a lot of other weapons so as you can imagine, the damage increase here is fairly decent. It's not crazy, you're not going to be doing hilariously more than Human Path, but on average about 10 to 15% more, so it depends if that's worth being both much squishier, as the Desperation will make you much easier to kill, and have much less thread to work with thanks to no Celestial Breath, and it's that reason that Celestial Breath on the human side of things to me is very much a damage skill, as more thread is more fusion is more Karakuri is more output, and that very much does track. But if we do look at the skills this kimono angle gives us, well, as you can see, getting that extra 5% attack and defense during the day, ignoring raws, though rolling and iframing them isn't too difficult either, so it's not like it's the craziest thing in the world. But we also get a massive amount of desperation, which is pure percent attack up permanently for the cost of defense down. We get a little bit of stamina management in some core boost and some regen, which is obviously really really nice, and a load more damage against Enraged Kimono 2, and still a little trickle of Savage, so yeah, it really is potent, and it should be noted that we do have now a 10% chance to crit on the draw attacks, i.e. what you're doing while charging in the finisher, which, if that does happen, is going to be a nice little spike in damage. It's only worth about 3%-ish in practice, but you will notice it when you see the much larger
larger number, and you know, you'll feel good about it, which is really the important thing here. So, yeah, essentially, pick your poison. Do you want a much more well-rounded set that comes with a lot more comfy skills, that's got better stamina, that has more thread management but does a little bit less damage? Go human. If you want to throw it all to the wind, go full reckless pure pain because you have mastered this weapon to the nth degree and you don't need no helpful skills past do bigger number, then go kimono path. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Nodachi nodachi in the ways that you might well want to, and it works extremely potently, and I for one am very, very pleased with the results. I adore this weapon, adore the charge, adore the big hits, and I hope with these sets that you guys do too. For now, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good Bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye <laughs>